Okay, come with me and I'm going to prepare the cell bar frames and uh, before I go hunting for day old larva to graft. I'm going to paint these with honey is what I'm going to do. Get the bees to stick their tongues all over these things and clean them up so they smell like the hive before I graft in them, before I ask them to start the cells. I'm taking a frame of honey. I used to take a little squirt bottle of sugar syrup and spray on them. The honey works better. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take some honey up, break some honey open here. I'm going to take my paintbrush, a nice clean brush here, and I'm going to get honey all over it. And I'm going to paint it on my cells. I'm going to put it right in the, put honey all over the cells. So some of it drips down inside the cells, some of it's on the outside. All right, brush a bunch of honey on there. You're familiar with what, with what bees do when they've got spilt honey. First thing they want to do is run and clean it up. Drop everything you're doing and go clean up the mess. All hands on deck. So this will get these cells primed. They'll get them clean and ready for the next batch. Especially inside the cups. Get the cups cleaned up inside. right? These frames have been in storage for a while. They smell like the storage room, right? Want them to smell like the beehive. Okay. All right. Got that primed. Let's go put it in the hive. Good. Let them clean this up. And while we go find some grafting material. They're buzzing around, crawling around, flying around, looking like they're queenless. I'm not grafting both of these in this one starter, no, just one of these, but I might set up another one today, so I'm putting two in here, get them cleaning on it, working it, working it out, uh, working those, the uh, mouth, the, rent, the rim of the cells, get them ready for queen bees. Alright, so I've got room for my grafting frame, and if I can find another frame of pollen somewhere else, maybe two frames of pollen with the grafting frame in the middle, that's what I'm after. Okay, it'll take me a while to find a frame to graft from. In the meantime, they can think about being hopelessly queenless. All right, I've gone through several colonies that I want to use as breeder queens, and I've isolated the frames that I want to use that have day-old larvae in them. All right, instead of shaking the bees off like you saw me doing before, um, I want to brush them off very gently so that I don't move the larva in the bottom of the cells, I want them right in the center of the bottom of the cells. All right, so brushing bees makes them mad. They don't like that brush. All right, we're going to take that over and graft from it. First, I'll put this box back together. Let's see what kind of housekeeping job they did. See if they cleaned up the cells for me and prepared them. They've slicked up all the honey off of them. take out my other cell bar frame. We're not going to ask them to do all of these right now. No. This, uh, this will be the next one. I might set up another one today. Alright. We go graft. I'm going to remove the bars from the cell bar frame. while I graft and then I put them back in. Okay, I've got a, a lid here I'm going to use as a little temporary table. Put my frame right there. I can see better if I take my veil off. I'll need my flashlight.
and my grafting tool take a bar of cells and I usually like to just stick it to the wax right there push it down so it's uh, yeah, gonna be nice and stationary and away we go there's the first one right there I see her she's in a good puddle of jelly pick her up from the back of that C shape I got her set her down gently in the cell release the tongue and draw the tool back slightly as I go and we got it sometimes I have to clean the tip off get clean the jelly off there they won't stick to it they slide right off we want them to slide off but not too slippery that when I pushed over to the side of the cell it wouldn't stay on my grafting tool that one I got quite often on these frames you'll have new bees that are emerging right while you're grafting so you brush all the bees off and you think hey where'd that bee come from I got bees crawling on me well they're new little bees that just barely emerged that one I couldn't pick it up I flipped it over got that one if you're unsure if you damaged one of the larvae trying to pick it up just get a different one this breeder queen here that I'm grafting from is from Goblin Valley Goblin Valley is located in central Utah they call it Goblin Valley because of the sandstone formations. They make hoodoos. They call them uh, goblins sometimes. Fun looking features. There's some big cottonwood trees in that area. And that's where a lot of the feral bees live down there. Now when I'm done with this, I'm going to put it right in the starter colony and get them to work on it. I don't want to graft two more bars of cells and make them wait until they're back to their nurses. Uh, that could be another 20 minutes or more. I want to get them back to their nurse bees as quickly as possible. One more of these and we'll make a dash for the cell starters. You want them really small, no older than day old larva. All right, I take my frame and my newly grafted larva Put this in my cell bar frame. And we take this to the cell starter. Let's see if they're happy to see their potential queen bees. All right, we go graft another one. All right, we'll give you the overhead plan view of the grafting process this time. We're on the next one, and this breeder queen is from uh, Hovenweep area, Four Corners. Those are too big. All right, there's a few right down there that'll be a good size to graft from. We'll try some of those. Hovenweep's a really fun spot to visit if you ever get a chance to go down there. There's some Anasazi ruins from 700 years ago that are still in relatively good shape. It's a really nice hike, fun spot. It's hot in the summertime. Look for honeybees on the flowers if you go. I don't know if you can see the larva down in those cells or not. Let's try it. Uh, it took me about six minutes almost seven minutes to graft that bar uh, and there's one two three four five six eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, nine, ten, fifteen on one bar let's go put that in the hive so the total amount of time that they've been away from the their joil jelly and their cell by the time I get this into the starter will be about ten minutes
you can see how they've jumped on those cells already. They're really getting busy making queen bees. Okay, I've got one more queen bee I want represented in this batch of cells. We'll do that one and uh, it's all set to go. Next queen we're going to graph from is the uranium queen. There's an old abandoned uranium mine down southern Utah. And I uh, put some matey nukes out near that colony. And she's wonderfully nice, very productive. We're going to use that one. I gotta get my gloves on. Be right back. It's getting a little later in the evening. They uh, they uh, get a little bit more upset with the beekeeper disturbances in the evening. Let's go grab this one. I'm gonna leave the smoker right there. Huh? Maybe they'll calm down a little while I'm going back. Until I get back. So, uh, anticipating that the bees get a little bit mad sometimes, I've uh, positioned the truck a little ways away from the hive so I don't have bees getting after me while I'm trying to graph, like the last time. I'm gonna write on these cell bars so I can keep track of which breeder queen this was. This one is from the uranium mine. All right, here we go. Three little new bees, aren't they cute? Pardon me bees while I graft around you. Two more of you coming out, and another buddy over here. That bee just landed on the honey and is after honey instead of me. Thank goodness. Okay, I got it. There's another two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Let's go put those in with the nurses and then I'll return the frame of grafting material back to the donor colony. Look at them jump on those graphs. They're already on them. Haven't been in there 10 seconds. All right, I got to I got to write on the first ones they did. Okay, the the first one that I grafted was from Goblin Valley. Second one I did was from Hovenweep. And the last one was from 
the uranium mine. All right, let's go return the uh, grafting frame back to the donor. All right, we got we got it set up. I couldn't really find another frame of pollen, but I think they'll be okay. I put some shade on them, right? They're going to need some shade. I want them to stay cool. Don't want them to have to spend more time worrying about the inside temperature. Uh, I want them to spend more time worrying about feeding those cells rather than hanging outside because it's too hot in there. So I put another colony empty, an empty hive next to them so they're not so hot in the afternoon. Put a little shade on them. And then also I will leave. So this is the uh, starter that I set up five days ago. We're going to check the shells, see how they do. Looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, three, twenty four, twenty five, six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, three, one, thirty two. Looks like we got thirty two of them out of that, and they look like good, well developed cells. Let's review what we learned today. We took the, the uh, cell starter frames and the bars, covered them with honey, right? And the purpose for that was to get the uh, cells inside cleaned up. They've been sitting around a while, so they smell like the hive. The bees uh, put their tongue in there and clean up, clean up everything, and it smells just like the hive. All right, and then once we did that, we went and found a donor colony from the breeder queens that had day-old larvae, and we begun grafting. So we grafted from three different breeder queens in the same cell starter, and uh, you saw how that went. Uh, we did that as quickly as possible, putting each bar in after we graft it, rather than wait and put them all in at once. So we want them away from the nurse bees the least amount of time as possible. All right, then we found a frame of pollen, put it next to the graft, and uh, put the lid back on and we'll make sure that we record the date that we did this because we've got to get them out of there in day 10 in 10 days or else when they emerge on day 11 the evening of day 11 or the morning of day 12 then that first queen out will kill all the rest of them so important to make our nukes up on day 10 take the queen cells out this one was basically the do little method this one's the most immediate and easy to do from start to finish we can do it in one one day, one afternoon. All right, thanks for coming along.